Unpack the components from the box. In the brown paper box, you will find the already assembled Pi NAS. If you ordered Pi NAS with SSD drives, you can skip part of the disk installation and simply plug in the NAS. Otherwise, use the included or your own screwdriver to remove the four screws on the back of the Pi NAS. Remove the top cover, turn the Pi NAS upside down, and remove another four screws to pull the entire board out of the case. Carefully insert your NVMe SSD drives at an angle of approximately 30 degrees. Secure them with the included screws. The system supports up to 4 modules of 4 terabytes each, for a total of 16 terabytes. In this guide, we will set up only 2 SSD modules. Put the board back into the case and tighten the screws at the bottom. Attach and do the same for top cover. Alternatively, you can attach cushioning pads if the NAS will be placed on furniture. Connect the power cable and Ethernet cable. Plug the Ethernet cable into your home or office network socket and connect the power supply. Next, find the assigned IP address of your NAS in your router. There are multiple ways to do this. The simplest method is to access your router through a web browser and look up a guide on YouTube based on your router brand. Alternatively, you can scan your home network and find all connected devices without accessing the router. In this case, search Google for the command nmap or fp-ing and scan your home network. The network should have the same range as your computer in a home setup. Log in using the IP address you obtained from your router for the device with the hostname Pi NAS. The default login credentials for Open Media Vault are admin for the username and Open Media Vault for the password. 
After logging in, you can change the language of the user interface. However, the guide is written in English for universal purpose. First, change the password for accessing the NAS web interface. Then, change the password for the OpenTix account, which is the main account of the operating system. These are two critical security settings during the initial configuration. Apply the settings. In the General tab, you can change the host name of the device. The default is Pi NAS. In the Storage section, under Disks, you will see your disks. The system is installed on the SD card. In this tutorial, two SSD drives are available. The new drives don't have any partitions. We need to create them in the File Systems section. Click the plus icon, choose the ext 4 type, and select one of the SSD drives. A partition will be created. This operation may take some time. Once completed, select the partition and add a tag, for example, disk A. Repeat the process for the second disk. Save the changes. In the Shared Folders section, you can add the folders you want to share. We will use example folder named Photo. On disk B, create a folder called Photo Backup, which will be used later for backups, but restrict access to administrators only. In the Services section, under SMB, CIFS, go to Shares and configure sharing for the created folders using the SMB protocol. Add the photo folder and click Save. Finally, add a user who will have access to the shared folders over the network. In our case, we have a user named User with the password user. Choose your own username and password. If you want to set up backups right away, in the Services section, under RSYNC, add a new task under the Tasks menu. The type will be local, the source is the photo folder, and the destination is the photo backup folder. Choose the time for synchronization and make sure to leave the delete parameter unchecked. Without delete parameter, data on the destination disk won't be deleted, which protects against accidental deletion and some ransomware.
Now, try entering the IP address of your Pi NAS into File Explorer on your computer, with two slashes in front. Enter the login credentials of the user you created in Open Media Vault, and you'll see the desired folders. These folders can be automatically mapped to connect every time your computer starts up. 